watching college baseball on the SEC Network. And oh, what a marquee matchup we have for you tonight between two championship caliber programs. The Florida Gators, winners of the last two SEC regular season championships against last year's SEC tournament champions from Ole Miss. When you take a look at the updated SEC standings as we start the weekend, you see the Gators over in the East, three games out of first, while Ole Miss is tied for fifth with Mississippi State in the West. Well, tonight, Will Etheridge will get the start for Mike Bianco's bunch, his seventh of the season. Now, he was tagged for the loss last Friday night in Fayetteville, but he has had himself an outstanding season. You know, Will Etheridge, a guy I just love to watch pitch. Big league caliber pitcher, fastball 90 to 94 and a three pitch mix that he can truly throw all three in the strike zone. Fastball, slider, changeup. That's unsettling and unnerving for a batter in that box to not know what he's going to throw next. The only senior in this starting lineup tonight for the Gators. And a smash. That's Servidio who puts it over to Graham and a line out double play to end the top of the first are going to be hard hit balls through the infield just like that. And Etheridge has just picked off Will Dalton. Or McConnell. It's McConnell as he laces one down the right field line. And that will plate a pair of Gators. And Florida takes the early 2-0 lead on McConnell's. If you're going to be successful against this ball club, you've got to get outs where you get them. Johnson's throw down to second is in time. Oh, does Cooper Johnson have a cannon? In this inning. Keenan lifts one to deep left field, and we've got a tie ball game. Tyler Keenan, one of the top RBI hitters in the entire country, has struck again his ninth home run of the season. He's got three back-to-back -back hits. Man, let your lineup work for you. Cole Zabowski, another big stick in the lineup. You see here a deep fly ball. It's going to keep going. And it's out of here. Zabowski dialing long distance. Second bomb of the inning, and the Rebels have their first lead of the night. Tyler Myers. Completing his warm-up tosses, the new pitcher for the Rebels, the junior out of Houston, Texas. He has had himself a terrific season so far, making his 10th appearance of the year. An ERA of 2.65 through 17 innings pitched. And he has thrown 10 straight scoreless innings. And Keenan this time to right center field. And Clement's going to ask Olenek to score. The throw to the plate is dropped by Smith, and Olenek scores. That one gets past Smith, and Kessinger will score. 5 2 Ole Miss. And Johnson delivers. Keenan scores, Dillard scores, 7-2 Ole Miss. By a combined score of 34-6, the Gators had a big win against Florida State, and they just got a big fly ball there by Brady Smith. And Smith's home run has cut the lead to 7-3. A lot of his outs were, were ground balls, and, and his hits were just right through the infield. Now Myers, a lot of his pitches are up in the zone. You see deep fly balls like this. And McConnell knocks one out of the park. The second of the inning for the Gators. It's 7-4. Good things happen when you hit the baseball whether that be a hit or just putting it in play. Hitting is contagious, and good things and breaks fall for you just like this, getting guys in scoring position. Have yet to figure out. And Olenek sends one deep to left center field. It's going to go to the, nearly the track. Plenty deep enough to score Servideo, and the sack fly by Olenek 
gives the Rebels a five-run cushion. There go the runners, and there goes the baseball. See you later. Cooper Johnson, a three-run jack, and it's 12-4 Rebels. No doubt. And that is Keenan to his left. And that will do it. Ole Miss wins it. Game one of this best of three in impressive fashion over Florida. And congrats to Mike Bianco. That's 300 and counting in his career in the SEC. 